device. Hello, 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 guys. Okay, there are some audio issues, but everything should be fixed now. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to today's game with uh, Aquila in the Prime Division, uh, the, the fifth division, to be more precisely. And they're going up against a very, very long name. Uh, the Linear Sport Club EV Purple. Yeah. Exactly that. So yeah, that that one. So BSC. Yeah. I think is the thing they use. Yeah, BSC. So we're just waiting to get into draft right now, and then um, well, is my is my camera too laggy? Hello. Should be fine. Wait, let me check. Uh, Maybe reset it. Um, it should be better now. Is it not? No, it's it's even swapped. But um, ah, that okay. All should be well. Let me flip it, and then can it connect? Yeah. All right. And the angle, getting the angle right. All right, right, right. We are Barack. Okay, and now it's smooth as well. Okay, top. Good. Good. We also get, okay, I'm loading in. We get the spectator link as well. So we can get into draft. All right, right. We're jumping straight into action. Ecola Gaming against the Berliner. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna call them Berliner. I don't want like, esports club EV purple bullshit. Nah, no, just Berliner. That's what they're getting. It's Berliner, fair enough. Right. I need to join. I can't join. Spe <laughs> I can't join spectator. <laughs> Bro, why are there four? So please go ahead. The not tank. Leave lol. <laughs> we are seven. Bro, why? Why are there too many people? There are I... four spectators of the enemy team in spectator. Like, oh, what is going on? Yeah, that's a, a little questionable. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you should be able to join now. I think. Yeah, I need to invite me again. Yep, I got an invite. I think I invited you. No, lobby is full. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. We are experiencing a bit of issues. Yeah. Just I actually just left so that you could join here. And then immediately into sp <laughs> Ah. Right. Yeah. Uh, it should be fine now then. Wait, they're also spectating either coach or live stream? I think there was. They I, said I can they check. Only... Um... Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, blue, red, and spectator. Yeah. Yes. Here we go. Oh, it's Flay Show again. Hello, Nick. Yes, yes sir. sir. Welcome back, Flay. Welcome back, Flay fan base. Yeah. Yeah, it's to see who's top dog. Uh, they're um, very high in the standing, so like they're they're typing in chat if this game even matters, and uh, right there in the reply, yeah, it matters to see who's top dog. Yeah. See who is the best of the best. Let me look if I can get the standings. Um, where was it? We're still waiting for a ready check to go into the draft. 
We're still waiting, still waiting. Um, all right, blue is starting with bands. Yeah, Ivern ban as we expected. Yeah, I mean, uh, we we wrote down some bans. The enemy Ivern, uh, the enemy general is a bit of an Ivern uh, Lee Sin one trick. Ivern very strong in the at meta. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lee Sin as well. Yeah, I mean, enemy jungler just getting targeted. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Potentially, what were we thinking? Ash ban might yeah. be possible. Uh, if they're like you, Syndra ban. Syndra, Ash, or Blitz. Yeah, if or they're scared of the Blitz rank. rank yeah, fair yeah. Enough. I was saying, uh, like we were going through the the enemy players. Like we, you have a Lee Sin Ivern one, like one trick kinda. Yeah, picking Jarvan away. Yep, but those are the the three most played enemy junglers. He played Lee Sin Ivern, Jarvan. Those are all twenty plus games. And then yep, mid laner played Syndra, Syndra a lot. Yep. We, yeah, exactly. Yep. And then potentially here something like an Ash or Ash Brom. Yeah, maybe. I yeah. don't know. I don't know how good Ash is into Jarvan. It feels a bit awkward. Maybe they slam. Ash Brom instantly, but like Brom is a bit ah, because the, then you can answer like Faris poke. It depends. Like it's a bit. But yeah, as it depends. I mean, like they have a lot of options here, so yeah, it's funny to see they didn't. They like they're not scared of uh, Rytharian Viego because he plays uh, a lot of Viego. Yeah. They're also not scared of the uh, yeah. the Kiana one trick in Nick. So. I mean, that would be fun to see. I mean, like, yeah, here yeah. you have the Ash. Ash, Syndra, I mean, yeah. Ash, just in general, quite a good ADC, I'd say. Yeah, it's also being flexed, so, like, it's easily flexed support with Varus, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, it's a bit... Tristana. Tristana. I mean, like... Could technically be mid and bot lane, so... True. Jinx, yeah, no yeah. Jinx. I mean, that makes a little more sense, I guess, because... Yeah, I, I feel know. like Jinx we've Jarvan. Seen, we've like, seen a lot of Jinx already. Um, Jinx is still very strong, so it makes sense. Yeah, and as we as we were like we were doing some research uh, beforehand, we saw that the enemy ADC from uh, Berliner uh, has never played uh, Jinx before, like no matches on Jinx, so that's why they didn't ban Jinx. Yeah, Jinx Milio. Yeah, and Milio. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. It's to really it's to part. stop the Brom coming through to get Ash Brom because Milio is very annoying into uh, Ash Brom because it gives more range on the, the Jinx, like safety knockback, stopping the engage. Yeah. It's just a bit annoying. Also, also denying Ash Milio, also very annoying with slows and stuff. So, yeah. It makes sense. Like yeah, the... and actually, they do pick the Karma because, like, the support played a lot of Karma besides Blitzcrank, but we didn't think they I didn't it. think, yeah, I don't think Karma is useful. I don't really like the champ in the I mean, meta. I mean, she's not the strongest, but I. I, I... I still think you can make her work. I, I, I mean, just think it's more more effort for less reward. Sometimes it's just comfort over meta, I feel like. Yeah. But still, I feel like she's one of the weakest supports right now. With an average win rate of uh, 49%. Yeah, that's not great, but it's not that bad either. Yeah, true. It's it's decent. She is like it's uh, it's playable, but it's like you would rather have uh, like a Rakan, for instance, or or Bard or something like that. Like Bard, very strong. They're banning Nidalee and stuff. I, I th think that's just oh, a throwaway ban. So um, so reason it's taking a little longer is because there's a slight issue with uh the website where they can't lock in, so they're using the auto lock. Ah okay. Discord like yeah, I mean <laughs> sad. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, that it gives us more time to play. Yeah, Oriana ban uh, yeah, makes I sense. Mean, like, the Oriana ban and the Gwen ban just to make sure that they don't get like really strong, some really strong AP. Yeah. Because they still do need AP. I mean. Full AD. Then the, the Kale ban <laughs> makes sense. Top laner play yeah. like most played champion scale. Ramus, that's the fourth most played jungler from uh, Berliner. So we're just going down the, the the rabbit hole. The comfort route. Yeah. This is the full comfort route. But I, then again, it is strong into Jinx and Jarvan. So Ramus into Jarvan, I don't know. I don't feel like it's not. I mean, it's not that, that strong. strong, but I mean, into Jinx, it seems quite nice. And Jarvan is, Jarvan is a strong jungler and stuff. But I mean, Seraph Ramus is a Syndra. strong jungler and so on. I mean, uh... Ramus scales great, but like, I don't know. He's decent, I guess. It depends on matchup. Like in the Master Yi and Yasuo and stuff, I feel like he's great, but 
into ah, I don't, I like it into Jarvan and the thing like Ramus into Milio is also really annoying because you Q in and you don't have ult, you just get queued back yeah, into straight line. That's fair. And that's like fair. with yeah, Zerat as well, kind of... if they go virus Ooh. as well, it's annoying. Like you look top? at all the CC. Yeah, we might be a virus top. We've seen him play virus top a lot in, into yeah, tanks. Yeah, exactly. Match I mean... But then again, he doesn't know the matchup on top lane yet, so. I mean, a little brave, but I like it. Yeah. Maybe yeah, they're just trying some interesting things since it doesn't seem like all the players are taking this match all too seriously. <sighs> I don't know. They're playing a really long range comp. I feel like they're just going to try fair. with 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 Milio Jarvan. They're probably going to use Jarvan more as a disengage tool than an engage tool, I feel like, and just try to keep them at bay. Because like that's the whole problem with with Ash, with Syndra, with Karma as well, they're really, like, Karma less, but Ash, Syndra really struggle because they're not that long range, you know, and if you can just keep them at bay, I feel like it's, you know, like, Syndra can never gap close on, on Zerath, for instance, like, Zerath can just Q poke her out, and the, like, the same with Ramus goes in, Milio knocks him back, like, Jarvan EQs away, ults to keep people close, like, the same with Olaf, I feel like, yeah, sure, you stop the CC, but Jarvan cage, and yeah, that's not, like, you, you can't CC cleanse terrain, you know, so, yeah, fair. I know. Yeah, we can we can sh like we're we're now just waiting to get into draft. Um, we can share some of our insights. Like before the game, we did some uh, we did I mean, some digging like on the Opitop GG and saw what the enemy played a lot. And we saw like most of the um, games were played. Like the ADC played a lot of Ash Kaisa, so that's why the Ash was so highly prior uh, prioritized. The the bands Lee and Ivern. Like I can swap to the Opitop GG as well. Uh, like Lee and Ivern, as you can see, 70 games. Yeah, by on far Ivern. most played. 100 on on um, on Lee Sin and then 35 on Jarvan. So like those champs are all picked away. And then you have that. Then you have like Ramus, which is okay in the meta, but like, what's Ramus really gonna do in 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 this draft? It's good against Jinx, Varus as well. The, and like into Jarvan, it's it's not that great. Into Milio's Earth as well. So. It is decent. The da like, I'm I'm super, I'm interested. Like I'm I'm waiting to find out what Varus will go because if Varus goes like the Borg route into Hard Steel, I feel like Ramus. Yeah, he can taunt, but I still feel like like it's gonna be difficult against the Varus because of his uh, HP. Yeah, fair enough. Into all of it, I don't know. I feel like it's difficult. If Olaf hits a dagger, I mean, it's like you just get so perm, like you get perma slow. Yeah, that's that's kind of the problem with Varus first pick here. I think is the fact that it's just it's it's a pick that seems easily countered or like somewhat easily countered. Fair. Yeah, they don't really have like that big of a tank. I would have loved the tank top actually, but maybe they were scared of like some range top laner or something. Maybe, yeah, Renekton's still open, Poppy is still open as well, so couldn't really pick the Orn, but I feel like Cassante or something on top lane just steals three. Maybe he doesn't play it. I don't know. That's, I feel like that's what's lacking with Aquila's draft, is a bit of, like, the front line. You have a lot of, like, if they, the comp is still executable, but I feel like it's more difficult to execute, especially the solo in top lane, because of the, um, uh, Olaf. I feel like in team fights, oh, Berliner has so men like so much engaged, like Syndra, uh, Shatter the Weak, um, then Asher or um, Crystal Arrow, then like Ramus going in, Olaf ulting and slowing people down, stride breakering stuff. Like they have so much engaged tools, so I feel like it's it's a bit in Aquila's like, the game is, there, is theirs to lose, basically, I feel like. Um, because Ikula has to disengage very, very good. And, like, keep them at range. And then, if if, if Olaf and Ramus gets, like, if they get kited, Syndra can then almost never hit because of the long range. And then, like, Karma, sure, she can do something. Ash, maybe, with her slows, if she gets close enough. I feel like then it's difficult, but if they, like, if Berliner has one good engage, I feel like the teamfight is just lost. So I feel like it's... Um, I feel like it's Berliner's game to lose. I feel like it should be easier for them to play. Like, it's very straightforward. Yeah. You, you have, like, Ramus engage. You have Ash slow. Like, Syndra can also engage. And it's all, like, except for the Ramus, I feel like Olaf 
throwing a um, uh, one of his um, axes. Like if the slow hits, you can just go in and follow up his free. Like Ash can also slow Syndra can stun. Is there a lot of engage tools and like Melio can do nothing about Syndra stun or like Ash stun. And yeah. A, a, except for the ulti, but then the ulti's been used, so I feel like. I mean, I, I can definitely agree with that. I do think it's Berliner's game to lose here since, I don't know, the, the comp on Age seems like it has the same idea on most of the champs, but at the same time, the comp doesn't really cater to the needs of that idea since they don't really have that big of a, a meat shield to, to tank up front and stuff. I, I think it's just going to be really hard to keep that Olaf and that Ramos off. Mainly Jinx, uh, Varus as well. True. I mean, like, if you look at the disengage that uh, Age have, they have um, Jarvan and Emilio, but Jinx herself, she has no real way of disengaging. Like, I mean, yeah, she has her E and stuff, but that's not gonna that's not gonna help against the Ramus. Yeah, true. Um, Varus has his ult, but I mean, that's an ult just to disengage. That also feels a little rough, and yeah, it just feels like their comp is. I, I get the idea behind it, but at the same time, I I don't know. It seem it feels a little bit odd that they didn't go for at least one more um, supportive role in the team. Something like a I don't know. Um, yeah, just in general, the top laner not being a Varus. That Fair, seemed yeah. like the most logical pick here. Um, but I mean, if they make it work, they make it work. You have no idea. Uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, fair, fair. Uh, the... Since they're competing for top dog, they might be having fun or they might be going all out. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. I feel like for Berliner, it's just a lot of comfort picks. I mean, the the thing is, in the last 10 games, I was just checking, he's only played Lee Sin and Ivern last 10 games, so the Ramus game has been a bit... Like, a bit uh, like it's been a while since he has played Ramus. Same with Olaf, also been a while. Like, Syndra Ash are more recent together with the karma so yeah we'll see if like because that, that that's always the impact of course the matchups like f i feel like olaf should win if he like if but yeah i don't know if it feels a bit like a skill matchup it feels a bit like a game where if Favaris can dodge the um the axis then i feel like he should win if olaf connects on an axe or two then i feel like it, it's Hard lost, so it can be a bit scary. I feel like Sarah. I mean, Sarah Syndra. I feel like Sarah, Sarah Syndra win. seems like a skill matchup to me, since I mean both have a lot of poke. I mean, Zera should win the early game, but I don't think by much. I'm not really sure about the matchup. I mean, Varus into Olaf just. It's just once. Once Olaf hits level 6, Ferris can't CS anymore, mm. um, pretty much, because he just presses R and runs him down. So that's going to be something to really watch out for. Yeah, I also went Barrier. I mean, oh, yeah, that's the logical pick. Kind of hurts that you don't have that teleport, but I mean, yeah. against an Olaf, I, I completely understand the barrier here. Maybe going for a bot side invade? Yeah, they're looking like they're all they're running all bots. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a cool for well. the uh, for the counter invade, like uh, like for the guarding the invade. They're suspecting something. Yep, they're pinging the bush. Yeah, just playing it really safe here. Yep, makes sense. Jarvan might get the award here if if he can keep track of the map. Yeah, they got a ward on red. Because might a bit. Yeah, Jinx has to be careful. Yeah, she spots it early. They yep. warded here. Jinx wards. Yeah. They get the ward as well. And who who got the ward? Ash. Did Syndra receive some XP? She did. I don't know if it'll be enough to level up on first day. We need to we need to look at uh, mid. I feel like the mid matchup. If Syndra le level from first wave, I feel like it's a bit difficult for Zerath. Well, they just yeah, got vision. Probably. I feel like they just traded vision. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Um, outside of, of course, the um, experience that I I 
don't know, did Syndra get enough to get level 2? Yeah, that's what I persuade? That's what I want to keep track of. I'm gonna put the camera a bit on the Zerath. I want to see what happens here in the mid lane. Let's see if she gets level 2 of the first six minions. I don't feel like she she, she, she got enough. Full up maybe going for it? Nah. He knows he can't go for a cheese here. Oh, Zerath countered it really nicely. Yeah. She does hit yeah, early. She yeah, she, she, she did hit it early, but... Um, but she didn't get value, so it's fine. Yeah, because Zerath got uh, a lot of the minions it, really quickly. Yeah. I mean, Zerath. Zerath's playing this really well here. Right there, and tracking yeah. the Ramus real hard. Oh, nice poke here. Oh, look at that. Look at that and damage QSL, on mid lane. Yeah. yeah, I mean... I mean, he has to play it a bit more aggressive, because Syndra has TP, and he only has cleanse, so wants yeah. to force out the TP early, so there's no TP advantage if he bases as well. So Ramus was looking for a tree gank into, uh, for tree camps into top, but right there with his uh, superior tracking, just knowing that the jungler was, like, he, he was pinging crooks when he was, uh, when Ramus was clearing crooks, so that's really good tracking. Yeah, but at the same time, there was a um, ward on red buff, so he did see. Yeah, true, 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 of course. But I mean, yeah, he does have superior tracking, though. I'm not going to uh, deny that. I mean, he Just he saw the... Oh, Ooh. Olaf hits a, hits a dagger, but he's so low, I don't feel like he wins this. Maybe I, with Conqueror for his deck? Yeah, yeah, if he dodges the Q. Yep. Yeah, that's... that's exactly what I thought the matchup would, would have been, yeah. You hit one yeah, dagger and... Yeah, you just I mean... The perma is slow so that you can't run away, and I, I don't know, it's... I... The, it's just the Varus first pick didn't seem logical in this team. Yeah, Varus on, like, B5 felt a bit weird because you, you don't have counter top. The, 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 like, the yeah. enemy top laner can counter you so, still, so it feels a bit weird, in my opinion. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe he can make it work. He's going Amplifying Tome. Maybe goes Nash, like maybe he goes the full AP route now. I feel like they need I mean, it as well. That would make sense, yeah. I mean, Seraph does a lot of damage and stuff, but also Paris... just into into Ramus as well. Yeah, especially Ramus, since I mean, if he goes uh, lethality here, it'll still do some decent damage. But yeah, I mean, having more AP against this team seems better, since Olaf as well prefers to build. Armor items over magic resist. I'm I mean, tanking the whole wave. He knows jungle is coming though, but Ramus is also on his way. He, he flash Q. Yeah, very good. Oh yeah. One more auto attack. Syndra lives. Oof. Flash from Zera. So. Yeah, had to flash the Q. Yeah. And... Jarvan will get out. Ooh, oh, pause. pause. Top DC. Top disconnect. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, so to recap everything that happened mid lane, um, Syndra, like, Syndra tried to get the push out, Zerath was poking her down, then tanking the whole wave, then Jarvan tried to give the kill to Zerath, but it wasn't possible, and then Zerath had to flash the Q from Syndra or it would have killed them. Syndra flashed the EQ of Jarvan, like the E flash Q of Jarvan, and then Ramus also tried to flash to, I think, get something. I don't know why the Ramus flashed actually. <laughs> But yeah, flashes on both uh, mid jungle all used. So yeah, um, yeah, and Zerath is kind of stuck here now because no flash. Yeah, and our game lags a bit because of the pause. Yeah, but that'll yeah, that probably shouldn't happen again, or at least not too often. No. So mid lane is scary though with the whole wave pushed. If Zerath hits like yeah, that three. is that is fair. I mean, top lane here got a lot of help from. Ritharian, but at the same time, Ramus is coming in here. Maybe one dagger yeah, hit, that and it's might just done. Just be a dead Varus. That, yeah, that's all the flash. Maybe trying to trade Although... because Ritharian is also here. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that's just the... so much damage. I that think Ritharian doesn't even win this. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I mean, well played by Olaf and Ramus here, but yeah. Yeah, that's, it's just uh... Olaf W with the shield and the and the life steal and just being able to hit not, the conqueror. Not a lot to say about it. That's just. What happens if you pick range top into with something like an Olaf? But I mean, hen hen hence the question marks with the Varus top per first pick. I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, it's a strong champ and stuff, but blinding it seems yeah. a little... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's special. That's true. I feel like if it was a vein top lane into Olaf, I feel like it's it's better because you have some like you have some um, movement. Like I mean, this virus is just a sitting duck. The problem with vein top is just the same. It's she doesn't do enough damage early game because Faris at least does a lot of damage early game. True. With Vayne you don't even have that, so I I can get why Varus, especially since Venerator is also more comfortable on Varus. But true, I mean one yeah, dagger look, hit. It's yeah, one dagger and there goes, there goes uh, Venerator again. No, he Olaf? ultis clean. Yeah, level of timer. Olaf was not six yet. Yeah, stayed really calm I mean, and got the push out. Probably can take a yeah. tower because Olaf has no TP. Also, Ramus bot side. Olaf also used Ghost as well. Which yeah, is really I good mean, for him. Really well played there by Benerve. Nice, Flay holding the wave so that Jinx gets the whole wave. That's very good. Jinx yeah, got a base as, as well. Flay one man show again. Confirmed. Very good. I think this is going to be a thing that we can't change about the streams. It's going to be the Flay show. True. Very true. Maybe you're looking for some engage if. Uh, does the Jarvan hit level 6? Uh, no, potentially, yeah, they do have vision though, so... Oh, it's not hitting level 6 yet. Ramus also. No. Ramus did get level 6. Ramus is top side. Maybe looking for Drake. No, he's just gonna reset. Probably going Gore Drinker on the Jarvan to be a bit more bruisey. Ramus is top side. Benaria should probably notice. Trying to trade with PTA. Yeah, first attack procced. Oh, they're, yeah, they're trying to dive because he has no ult. But... Yeah, Olaf is just getting poked out and the wave does not crash now. So they can yeah, dive. Yeah, exactly. It's very awkward That's to dive. Really also Jarvan awesome topside as well, so they can dive. Yeah, they might be able to fight this actually. Uh, ben and Weir and Raytherian. Olaf still has flash ult, so it can be scary because... Uh, uh, like Jarvan has to clear blue first to get level 6. I feel like then it's winnable. If Jarvan gets the Olaf second gauge, if he doesn't have flash, then they can win. But with Olaf still having flash, I feel like it's scary to fight still. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a scary fight to take, but at the same time, it might be the fight that Benarweer needs to get ahead in the lane. Oh, ult, oh insta really cleanse, insta good, milieu ult as yeah. well. To stop the oh, I karma think, slow. I actually think that. Oh! Ulti, ulti used, still yeah, has flash, but goes, not gonna use it. Up. Holy fuck, the damage. Hold up, Ramus is there, but I don't think... Yeah, does Ramus? No, with the, yeah. with the, with the ulti yeah, from... Yeah, uh... gets out as well. Oh, nice. With really the ulti well from Varus. Yeah, the corrupt chains were really great there. That was, that was picture perfect. That was uh, very close as well. Like, that the Jarvan almost got killed, but... Got his W back, like the taunt was not that long, and he just got out. I feel like if the if the crop chains were not there, I feel like he was just dead. Because yeah, the people could be able to follow up. Yeah, that was uh, like Jarvan EQ, Olaf ulted the EQ from Jarvan, so he didn't get knocked up. Still got caged though, didn't opt to use the flash because he thought he was dead anyway. Also, the Zerath ult helped a bit as well. Yeah, the Zerath ult kind of secured it and made it so that the flash was not going to help. Otherwise, he might have been able to flash out and get a, like, I don't know, lucky. True. There's just, in general, well played there. Well coordinated as well. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, by the way, on the on the subject of scaling, since we haven't talked about that yet. Uh, what what do we think about scaling late game? I think, actually, now I look at it, that AGS scales better. They have the better late game. Oh! Yep. Nice stun hit on the Syndra, but, oh, but Ramus, Ramus is, is coming. There. Ramus instantly flash queued it. But oh, oh nice Jinx rocket. Oh. And Syndra ult doesn't kill. Milio just runs them down. He's slowed now. No, the Q, yeah. the Q misses. And now top lane. Oh. Oh, maybe maybe. maybe. Oh, ult is not maybe. up yet. Oh, yeah, the uh, shield. The shield on the. Oh, oof. Dies nicely, the shield on the Olaf was so close. That's really unfortunate on the Olaf. But there. nice flash from Varus stopping the auto attacks. So that uh, yeah. he can't life steal because it was so close. That was just a game yeah, of that inches. Was very unfortunate for the Olaf. And oh, trying to get well a kill maybe as well. because of the consecutive damage thingies, but he misses at the third one. 
Yeah, I mean, Benner, we're getting a third plate there. Oh, Olaf Pink's barrier, by the way. Olaf Pink's Ferris barrier used, but it didn't. It was not used. So, oh, they get Drake for free. Yeah, very good. For free? Yeah, Karma had to base because Karma got very low by these Zerath, like the poke down. Yeah, the Zerath poke. Yep. Ramus is bot side here, so. Yeah, probably Jinx looking for push out and, and reset. They have to watch out here. Can they? Next wave is. Cannon, they could reset if they hard push now. Yeah, that seems like, I feel like they're that's, going yeah. to do. Karma also running mid, by the way, so they're just uh, yeah. doing the bot push. Yeah, yeah Jinx Maybe also wants they... to reset. Maybe they're looking for something Herald, like they don't want to go Herald or something. And the base timer on Jinx Milio is a bit like... Oh, that's... Behind. What? The, the, the trading top lane? Rooted? Yeah. Yeah, no. that's... That's what happens when you have no ulti on Olaf, when you have to, like, he uses yeah. last fight. I don't know why he went in now. I feel like... Yeah, I, I don't really get it either. I mean, I, I get why he was trying to get the push out, but yeah, he was maybe scared of being able to like a little Faris being uh, able to freeze. Yeah, but Faris is now Ooh, just yeah, sitting there. Probably dead there. Yeah. Jarvan doesn't get there in yeah. time. Actually, it does use the barrier though. Yep. Interesting decision. Maybe trying to waste a bit more time so that Potain can get. There. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, Oof, to nice get time to, for Ethereum to get there, but was just not enough. I mean, they had to cancel Rift Herald to kill, um, mm -hmm. kill Benerbeer. So that's something, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little odd this game in comparison to the other games. Yeah, it's just zero TPs on. Like, we have one TP in the whole game. It feels a bit weird. Like, people can't reset it that quickly, and the macro, like, your wave management and being able to push in and stuff becomes a lot more. Needed like Zerath can't just base because it has no TP and then Syndra just gets a lot. But with, with this push out, maybe he can because the wave's not been thinned out by Syndra. Yeah, I mean, but still, like, look how fast that wave is, is popped and he has to stay because they want to try Rift Herald, or, like, stop the Rift Herald from being used. Then top, top lane trading, mid lane also trading. Knocked Ooh. up. Oh, Glint's yeah, used, but Clint. the root from Karma yeah, hits and, the and then just ulti from Syndra. Q. Karma flashed to secure the kill. So no kill on Syndra, sadly enough, but they do get the kill on mid laner, so maybe they can try Rift Herald now. Ash also moving up, so I think Jinx will get a plate from this. I feel like yeah, it's... I... It's good that they can crack mid lane tower, but like if Jinx gets two plates now, I feel like it's not worth... Yeah, I feel like she will I... only get... Does she get two plates? I mean, with with, with crack and boots, she gets two. She she gets gets two, two. I think. If, so if, if uh, I feel like if they don't crack mid lane tower, I feel like it's not worth here because G Jinx got like two solo plates pushed in the wave. Ah, plates have fallen mid, so they so they will get mid tower, but they don't get the plates from it. They might get push on the second tier turret though because Ramus is there. True, they're trying to ulti it, trying to push them out. Syndra very low. Melio Q doesn't hit. Now top oh. lane being. Tri they're trading, Barris. but Jarvis also here. Oh, and yeah. flat! <laughs> was a oh. lot of damage. That's just what? Barris, uh, that's AP Barris. Yeah, AP Barris. Well, passive stacks really do hurt. Max out damage, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, especially against an Olaf who wants to be low, that's really scary because he can just pop you at half HP. Yeah, but Benerbe is a bit of a virus connoisseur, we know that. He's very comfortable on, yes, this, on this champion. Exactly. I mean, he also played it into Mundo, which I feel like is also a bit of a more scuffed matchup. Oh, no cleanse. Stunned for a long time. Yeah, Sinja just scared a weak bomb ulti, and he just dies. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's good he died there to Syndra. And, like, only gonna assist on Ash, not on Virus or Karma. They did move mid though. So. Not the worst case scenario, I feel like. Yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of kills and deaths quite early, I'd say. Yep. Normally these games feel more. They're more. I high wouldn't say more calculated, but they they seem more tense and and less kills and deaths. I, I don't know how to how to explain it exactly, but it's it's just got a different vibe from usual. Normally it's less random fights. Now they're just fighting like they're fighting bot. Why? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Drake is up in 30, so now it makes sense, but like other yeah. times they're like they're just fighting top Y because like the top players want to measure their dick length, you know, and it's like, bruh. Like now as well, like why are you, like why are they fighting top, you know? 
Yeah, I. I mean, he, 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 Benavir gets the kill. Like, it's fine. Like, he, he, but, like Benavir fights because he's stronger. I feel like and that's why. He can get killed. Yeah. But I don't really see why the Olaf potentially just thinking he might be able to actually kill. Fill stacks here. If he gets three stacks, maybe E. Oh, flash has to use the ulti. Maybe yeah, they just get Drake for this now. Like, sure, it's a, it's a shutdown on the. On the Ramus, but I did like they get Drake for free with like Jinx being this good in the game. Yeah, I mean they have that's a second Drake as well. I mean, yeah, Benedict is doing the crazy really tactic well. where like yeah, he's a bit like good deaths as the Bows would say. It. Like he's he's dying, but what that's he's... Syndra damage. I I, I think Benedict is playing really heavily around like his team as team game should obviously but, like mainly going for top lane pressure and top lane fights there because he knows he can beat that Olaf yeah and then forcing just, a response from the enemy and team. then yeah uh, forcing a response making it so that even if he dies that their team gets something out of it yeah they have so, to like he's yeah. saying to their to his team like they have to send two men top where they can't kill me so either I get a kill on this on this Olaf and I push to tier two or they answer me and get a kill on me like he has shut down, sure, but then he's saying like, yeah, if Ramus comes and, answer, and, and answers me or Syndra, they have to either use TP to contest Drake, or they have to yeah. use like manpower with no TP like the Ramus and they just give up free Drake. So I feel like it's a good play. It's a good def. As I mean, it was definitely a good play there, but I don't know. I just don't get why the Olaf keeps going in. Yeah, he's, he has no tier two. I don't like. He's not. He doesn't need to stand that far up on on the lane. That that's what I'm saying. Like this game feels a bit more. How how should like a bit more. Lane back. Relaxed, yeah, laid back, exactly. Like they're they're more like they're, they're playing for fun, I guess. Tournament. Yeah, I mean, it does make sense since they and they're just have their spot secured. There goes they're the just karma. Playing for this is pretty much a match for Jeez. ego, if you can call it that. Yeah, just oh, look at... ooh, that's a really oh, nice the healing he and the shielding. Holy moly! Yeah, the healing and the shielding. Ram is going I mean, in, coming in hot from the flank. The Better be a yeah, zoning of the. Ramus, yeah, the, the really Olaf. nice Olaf ult there, by the way. Yeah, good cleanse on the well ulti. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at, at that. Look, look at, at the damage. Though. Boom. Look at that. That's like 60% HP. Yeah. Especially with Rift Maker, I mean, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Now that they're just securing a lot of vision in topside jungle because next next objective will be Baron being up. Yeah, IE on Jinx very big, no uh, Trinity on uh, Ash, so this Jinx is a lot stronger than Ash at the moment. They're trying to look for a Ramus. Ooh, strong Ooh. Ramus. It does get out. The entire team is there, so now they have to get out. And make sure that they don't get caught out. Yep. Yep. Two items on Syndra is, oof. That's quite strong, but I don't think it's a problem for Age though, because I mean, look at that Paris. Hasn't backed yet either. Yeah, he's he backs now. If item, he gets Rift Maker, so... I feel like it's fine. <laughs> yeah, 82 it. splinters on Syndra, by the way. That's pretty fast. Yeah, <laughs> 19 minutes. He's going to 120 on my steady pace. Oh, ulti on Milio. Milio Ooh, can't use yeah. one ult, but he still, he still has flash, still has flash. I don't, I don't think, think I don't think that ult was worth actually. Since it's just a Milio and they don't yeah. get anything out of it. Then again, Ashult has like a 10 millisecond cooldown. True, yeah, so... it's always like it's already one fourth of the cooldown. Yeah. Look at that Syndra damage. Yeah, they're though. looking around Baron, they're looking at Baron who can threaten it. Right there and is a bit low. Like he got chunked a bit by the Syndra. Like Syndra is a bit scary. But I feel like Ram is also scary, like uh, together with um like, oh, oh. almost a pick. The burn, maybe? Yeah, the and burn kills him. They actually do kill him, nice. Leandri is burned. Up, they can fight this now. And now just the ulti. Yeah, they're looking for Cinder, looking, looking yeah, for the Ash. Yeah, the ult there. Just, just to make sure that the Karma could. The Varus 1v1 winning the Cinder and winning! Ooh, but the Ramus ult. Yeah, but Cinder still got the, the shutdown on the Varus. Oh, nice stun on the Ramus. Jinx missing her W, now just hitting. But, like, look at this damage from his W. He, he just can't kill him. He's standing in four people with the actual healing as well. Nobody does damage. But you do kill him maybe Jinx W? No. Gets out. Karma shield as well. Very close fight. Well played by both sides there. Yeah, it's really I close mean, this you game. Can still, even though they're playing relaxed, you can still see that they're like 
really good at their champs, really like putting in the effort even though they're just vibing along. Those fights are really close. Especially if you look at like Ash items and Ash being this behind, like kinda behind, I feel like that fight is really close. It's because Syndra is far ahead. But like it's Syndra Ramos on uh, Berliner side and it's uh, Varus. It's the Varus Jinx on Equilus side. Google face here uh, aggressively pinging the Ramos. <laughs> that makes sense. It's very nice yeah. to play against. I feel like Benrir has to like it's Benrir together with uh, Nick. If they can kill Ramos now, Drake is free. Has to ulti as well. Oof, that sucks. No, no ulti is used on Equilus side. I have to watch out for Olaf maybe. No. I think they just give up Drake now. I feel like it's very hard for Ramos to do some. Like he can't do anything about his ult. There's just too much CC. I feel like it's a bit scuffed. Do they try and contest? Yeah, they're going for late contest. I feel like if nice stun on the Ramos, yeah, they just get Drake for like now they have they to just get, get out. Drake here. They just have to get yeah. out. Yeah, I, I mean they don't even have to get out. They can just fight this. They win this fight. Oh, nice yeah, ulti, really and there nice goes ult. the Ash. Nice cataclysm. Now I feel like they just push mid, maybe see if they can get tier 2, or look for Baron. Yeah, they got the Olaf ult as well. Maybe panic. Uh, yeah, Olaf ult flash. Like, that's very... That makes it very scuffed. If he has no flash, it's very hard to get on the... I team. wouldn't call nice it the Baron, though. Look at that Syndra damage. Nice scatter the weak. Just that Syndra damage alone... Yeah, it's really scary. Uh, ...motivate them of... Or should I say, unmotivate them. Make sure that they didn't get the Baron. That, um... Came out of the, came out of nowhere. I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know who's winning. I mean, like, yeah, AK is winning somewhat, but at the same time, the Ramos just tanks so much. Surrender vote and failed for blue team, bro. <laughs> They're surrender voting. What? That's um, yeah. It's yeah, probably, probably <laughs> right there, you're mental, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trolling. Oh, Benrir gets popped by Syndra. No, he doesn't get popped. He lives. Barely, but he lives. Didn't have to use Barrier as well because it was, it was still on cooldown actually, Barrier. It just came off cooldown now. Yeah, we're right there in here to cover. Ash ulti misses. Now trading on the Karma. Karma just gets out. And the Varus gets to base. Yeah, that's Syndra, no ulti. Ash no ulti, but Ash ult is. Uh, uh, the cooldowns are not that long actually on um, both. Almost as fun as Lux. Like, look! It's. Oh, well, pardon me. It's 75 minutes on the playmaking button that you can dodge easily on Syndra. I will see. I feel like this uh, Drake in 3 minutes will probably decide the game, in my opinion. Like, I mean, yeah, if Age gets this for free, that's going to be a big problem for them. Yeah, really nice CC there by Nick. Yep, very well st well done, the stun. That could have been scary otherwise. Engage. Yeah, with ulti up. Oh, he's ulting. Poking the Karma down. Karma getting ulted by the Jinx as well. Barely survives. Damn. And they're looking just for a very hard mid chop. Oh! oh. Cleanse had to be used. Because it could have been scary to like with Cinder L being up again, it's very scary. Yeah, oh, nice poke on the Ash. They're looking for a Baron, maybe. Yeah, they're actually going Baron here with Varus pushing bot. I think, I mean, like, they have to answer Varus here, otherwise, he just takes towers and or Olaf. And yeah, maybe they're trying to bait it. Could be, yeah, because of the blue trinkets. Oh, nice ult on the Ash. Oh. Ash has to flash. Ash flash for the Cataclysm. They try and re-engage, but no CC connects really, so it's just gonna be a poke game and Equalize is in advantage now. If they get yeah, EQ definitely. on Syndra, no flash oh. as well. Ramus tries to knock up the Jarvan, but doesn't get the knock up, and now yeah, Varus flanking. Like, look, Syndra has to flash now, but Syndra is dead. Yeah, look at that damage. Oh, the stun on the Varus, but... To make sure oh, right there, and just keeps him alive by... Never. By letting the Ash not really get well on the Varus. And now, Ash still goes up, but... Is Nick too clean with it? Well, just going, going for the Varus. Yeah, he's just traumatized by this yeah, Varus, yeah. That's... I mean, they can probably get in here. here. Yeah, I feel like they get in there, but that's a lot of pressure. Ramus is back though. Like, he never died. Don't think Ramus can do a lot here. I mean, to be honest, he can he can definitely scare them somewhat, but I mean... Without any backup, Ramus is just... 
Uh, Ash is coming going with, to going to late. Just yeah. in it, but now they're looking for to play on the top wave as well. Uh, or maybe a Baron even. Yeah, I feel like top wave is very big, so they can maybe get tier 2 on top. Yeah, just pacing. Now they're looking for Makes resets because well. of Drake in 50. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, Drake is very important here because Baron is always risky and Drake is more of a safe thing that also gives a really big power spike. So I, I get the I get the decision. Also a permanent buff where like Baron is just... Yeah, um, exactly. Oh, Rabadon's completed on the virus. Horizon, terrifying. Horizon on Zereth and Black Cleaver on the Jarvan with Lord Dominix being completed on that the Jinx. Is, uh, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of damage and a lot of shred. That's um, going to make a big difference actually in this Ramus escape play. Yeah, it's it's a three item Jinx and a three item virus. Like they're all hitting their three items. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Ash no yeah, flash. Oh no, it's Karma it's actually. Karma. I thought it was Ash. Jinx. Or they looked so no, the same. Jinx, uh, excited. Yep. Doesn't get anything out of no, it. No, they, they, they just get the push with no support. Yeah, and they like, get free they Drake get free as Drake well. Here, my bad. Very good pick. I thought it was Ash actually. I, I didn't think it was like the Karma with the Ash. They look together because like they look so alike because of the uh, color scheming the same. But with yeah. like Winter, the Karma, and then the Project Ash, they look so the same. I was like, what is this Ash doing with the, the hot date in mid lane? But it was Karma. Still yeah, makes no sense, uh, but. That's so for AG, I, I mean... That's really strong. Slowly but surely AG are pushing forward and... Yeah. Doing what they're doing best. Winning. <laughs> it's, really annoying on, it's really annoying on like the virus. And like it's... Uh, on Jarvan it's good. I, it just sucks. Like it just gives their team so much more tankiness. Like the Syndra Qs will do less now. Yeah, exactly. Like the same I mean, with, with Ash W and like Karma Q. Uh, I mean like the just... thing is, the game is definitely not decided yet since... They can definitely come back for Lina here, but I mean, if you look at it, the, the poke is, just seems to be a little bit too much. Yeah, it's I, also... They don't seem to be getting through. Oh, still trying to get in. I don't think she can kill. Yeah, look at that. Look at that annoying little shield. Ooh, that's a really big ash ult, though. Yep. Yeah, also nice, Paris. unstoppable it's on the on, Ramus. Uh, unfortunately, it's on the Ramus, though. The kill. Trying to get been really as nice well. Syndra. Yeah, Zerath here, probably going to die as well. Yeah, Ooh, and maybe that giving a Baron now. Yeah, I don't think they can contest the Baron. Right there, and maybe looking for, might like, be a looking for a steal, yeah. I don't think they know... Yeah, they didn't know he had vision originally, I think. Flay is also playing a dangerous game. Yeah, Jinx, I think Jinx Flay ulti is coming in. Wow, oh, the karma is really low. He Qs it now. Steals. Oh, oh, that was so close. So close. Tries to cataclysm, but doesn't hit. Yeah, yeah. and now Flay just oh, gets caught because he's not a tank support. Oh, I mean, Jinx, Jinx, Jinx built a lot of towers. Gore. Yeah. They can chase That's... Jinx. I feel like if Ash arrow hits, oh, it doesn't hit. Oh, flash from Ramus used there. <laughs> Ash Arrow does connect, but on a Zerath under a tower. Oh, if, if she can trade, no. Can't trade uh, on the Ash, and it's Ash with a 100,000 uh, really, gold shot. No, really good here for Berliner, because that might be what they needed to get back. Yep, I Ash mean, has that's LDR a now. lot of gold. Oh, uh, no, she with Mortal Reminder. Reminder. I mean, yeah, with the... Rift Maker on. Oh, Nick also being caught out. Has to use a cleanse. Oh, yeah. the, the Scatter of the Week doesn't connect. But doesn't the Q. get out here. <laughs> oh, that's Virus and Rabadons just pops damage. because the ult, and now, yeah, yeah Karma also goes. Damage. Yeah, and Benerir. That Virus damage. Yeah, that's I why know. you pick Benerir Virus! Yes. Crazy. Holy fuck, the AP. And also, just the ulti connecting, spreading the stacks, and just hitting, like, that Virus. Just pop the Ramus because, like, ult connects on the Ramus because he has no ult, and then just channels the Q, pops the Syndra behind the Ramus, and then pops an E, and he just deletes the Karma behind the Ramus, and yeah, you have a nice frontline, but I just don't care because I'm Paris. You yeah, know, and... exactly. I mean, and now Paris is good against both backline and frontline. Oh, nice flash out from the Olaf, but I don't think he can Look kill. Look at actually. the Olaf doing negative damage on the yeah. Paris. <laughs> yeah, and now they, they just hardened. Yup. Yep. He'll that use from play and oh, yeah, no, that's game. It's well GG. Yeah. 
Jesus, Ben and Weer is on a tear, like... The he's a... Uh, lost the game as He's well. a menace. Yeah, he's just A real gapping. menace on his Paris. I mean, I wouldn't say gapping, but at the same time, like... I don't know, I, I don't really get what the Olaf was trying to do with those early fights. Like, after he noticed that he couldn't win anymore, I don't really get why he was continuously going in. Yeah, this game was a lot more fighting than in normal games. Like, if you look at the deaths, it's 23 to 17. I feel like, uh, yeah, playing a bit more aggressive. So, I mean, it, it, it could also be because they're like, yeah, if we're first or second. It's fun to be first, you know, but we also want to be, like, it's a bit more like a happy game. They're like... We're still gonna play a good macro, we're just gonna like play our game, but have fun while we play it. I feel like that's maybe the mentality where like we wanna show good macro, good like a good foundation, but then we can have a bit of fun. And I feel like this virus top lane, full AP, like yeah, it was fun. Like, I think he I think Benavid enjoyed himself. And then uh yeah. I mean we definitely enjoyed his gameplay, so Oh, pardon me, damn, holy <clears throat> Ah damn. My food. It's digesting. Holy moly. Yeah. That's what happens to food most of the time, yeah. Yeah, Still true. Digest. True. I'm Mr. Obvious, but you know, someone has to be. Yeah, fair enough. If you look at the damage, yeah, Ash, like, Ash was never really in this game. I feel like Ash was... Ash was doing negative stuff together with, like, Olaf. And, and then PC. Yeah, I feel like, Sin like Syndra, Ramos were the only two, like really present in this game karma got caught yeah, out I mean, a lot and ash was like it's not the fault of the of the enemy like of the ash it's more of like jinx getting ahead also like virus like it's just jinx like i feel like aquila expected the uh, ash syndra and then just went full long range because i feel like that's what counters ash syndra it's just go full long range like what's syndra gonna do against full like full long range poke ash as well yeah i mean if Ash can't get in to get that slow on the on the enemy, there's nothing she can do. Yeah, she so can't run someone down out of a range. So yeah, I mean, like that's like th that's why they picked what they picked. I feel like because like it, it makes sense. It's very hard, like as I said before the game, it's very hard to execute it. But I feel like they executed it really well. So yeah, I mean, we we did we did say that it was going to be difficult, but they they did manage. So yeah. Yeah, I and now we have to wait for spectator slots again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this seems to be a recurring problem. <laughs> yeah, it's because they also have uh, co-streamers. Yeah, exactly. Right in there, so that's why we have to wait. We have to wait, but we can speculate a little bit. I feel like they banned Caitlyn Ziggs. And yeah, I didn't really get the bans. I don't think we talked about the first three bans of Berliner, but I didn't really get the like the gist of, of why why. I, I didn't get the why because like I mean Caitlyn sure, strong champ and stuff, but I I mean we've seen Poopa Face play mainly things like Zaya, Jinx, maybe a little yeah. bit of Kaisa, but I haven't really seen him play Caitlyn that much. I feel like Ziggs is more targeted towards Nick, in my opinion. Uh, we, yeah, like, I mean... He has, played, uh, he has played a game of Ziggs, I feel like. Or do I remember that wrong? I feel like he has played some Ziggs games. And then, like, and... Nocturne... That's the thing, right? I feel like that Nocturne ban set up the Jarvan first pick for Aquila. Because what's a good champion into Jarvan? Nocturne. He's good into Jarvan. Yeah. And then, like, they banned it. And so I was like, what? Uh... Uh, spectator. All right. Our second draft. I'm gonna ask for our spec slots again. Yeah. Could we get spec slots once again? Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit scuffed. A little bit scuffed, yes. And probably someone has to leave. Like I think Flay, if Flay leaves, then I can join. You can join other side. Thank you. Someone has to leave, probably. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Flay left, and I'm on left as well, so you can join. Let's go. Very good. Very good, very good. But yeah, I feel like they should drop the like the Nocturne, like Caitlyn ban. I don't know. I f like we'll see. Bullied our sub away. Great. <laughs> <laughs> because Flick also leaves. Yeah, Flay has to leave. He <clears throat> takes that burden upon him. Yes. He's just a different.
Yeah, I feel like they should just drop. Wait, they're still. Wait, are they still blue? Because now I could lie, still blue. Are, are they blue two times? No, not, they're not right. Maybe the names are wrong. I feel like they shouldn't be blue side twice. Maybe they're remaking. But yeah, talking about the bands, I feel like the bands on Aquila side are good. I mean, like, the bands on Berliner side seem less oriented towards countering AG and more around countering the champs they were going to play. Or, like, champs that they really didn't want to play against. It didn't really relate to... Oh, there's a new link, actually. Or is it the same link? Because I don't really get why... It's, it's exactly the same link. They just reposted it. <laughs> we got baited. Uh, it's fine. Gust ready, yep. So, right. yeah, Lee Sin again. Then again. I, mean, I feel like the bands on the close side don't yeah, have to Luthern, change anything. Ivern. Ivern. Do they, do they Jarvan ban? Do they drop, like, Caitlyn just do Jarvan? No, they're nah, six. six. Um, and then third ban is going to be... Are they scared Maybe of a Ramus. Maybe a Ramus and then picking Jarvan. Just to see if the jungler has other champs that he plays. Oh no, yeah, but Blitzcrank, they don't play I mean, Blitz. yeah, it but makes sense. It's annoying. Yeah, they ban Varus, okay, yeah, yeah they drop Caitlyn. That makes sense. I, the Caitlyn ban felt a bit like a filler. But they, like, yeah. see, they, they, they still give... That's why I feel like they should drop Six ban and make it a Jarvan ban. You ban Nocturne, which is like fourth... Like, it's a free pick into Jarvan, I feel like. It's one of the best picks into Jarvan. And they just ban it. So I feel like it sets up the Jarvan pick more. Cinder yeah, ban again, I mean, like yeah, I don't know. They pick Cinder again, it makes sense, but it feels a bit bad in my opinion. Yeah, it does feel a little bit interesting. Ezreal or Jinx or just I mean people <gasps> probably with mo here. mobility is good. If uh, you go actually, Ash again, it feels a bit more if it feels a bit worse. Yeah, actually going for the Ezreal, that does make sense. Yeah, you want the mobility ADC. Yeah, so, I guess. I guess the Jarvan, so. It's a bit out of the comfort zone, I feel like. Well, uh, blue. Maybe we can, we're just gonna check if it depends. Vex. Vex. Really strong champ at the moment. Yeah, we know Nick loves his Vex. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Nick is comfortable on a couple of champs. I don't think it's mainly that he mains champs, I think he just enjoys playing them. He's a one trick Tristana, changed my mind. <laughs> I'm joking, but they still. <laughs> it plays all Tristana, so. Uh, the, yeah, no, Caitlyn, oh, Kiana, that's what I say. Caitlyn, yeah, they're taking Caitlyn, okay. Taking the Caitlyn, maybe just out of spite that they didn't ban it. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a flicks, you know? They can still go Caitlyn support. And actually going for the one and only monkey. Yeah, but Wukong, Wukong. is good into Jarvan as well, I feel like. with... Yeah, I mean. Nocturne, like, it's Vi. Uh, it's it's also good into into double AD carry. So if they go Caitlyn, like if they go Caitlyn Lux or something, who can yeah, play around it? The forced Lux ban here because Caitlyn Lux, and yep. then the Kale ban. Top lane, yeah. Like what 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 can they ban? Still like top laners maybe? Maybe they're scared of Gwen. They ban Gwen again. I mean Gwen would definitely make a lot of sense as a ban here. Or Oriana mid yeah. also if they think Vex support Poppy. maybe. Maybe signaling an Orn top then? Yeah, that could be the case. I mean, also, it's also good into Wukong, uh, because of his dash. Fair um, enough. Good lockdown on Ezreal, Syndra. Yeah, Poppy is just strong as well in general. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but uh, it's a bit scary. It's a bit scary. I don't know. Like, Gwen is still open. They banned Karma. Yeah, Karma Ezreal not giving over makes sense because Lux being banned. So, you don't want them having the pushing power because Ezreal Karma gets the push for sure. So now what do they pick? Like they have to blind pick something. It's high, so you either go, pardon me, you go you you blind top, you blind support. They go Bart, yeah, very strong. Also a very fun champ to spectate. True. Oh, Tarik. Um, I prefer Bart. I mean, the Tarik kind of makes sense. It's like. Because right now Jarvan wants to go in, Vex ulti also, also goes in, so it's like, ah oh, yeah, you, you go in on us, and I just pop my ult once like Jarvan uh, Cataclysm goes off, or like Vex, Vex ult hits, and you counter it that way. But I feel like there's enough picks left where they can just say like, 
oh, we, we we can play around it and we can like disengage freely and re-engage again. Or just go for more damage and double down on trying to get the kills before the ulti comes down. Yeah. Connects. Yeah. I mean, Volibear top here, better be. Yeah. Well, uh, we saw what happened in. Uh, I, I don't remember how many games ago, but we saw him play Volibear once, and that was a uh, that was a slaughter. Yeah. He's very good on so, this yeah. bruisey, like the carries and stuff. I mean, Soraka in general is just an animal. Yeah. Soraka would be interesting to see. Then again, I don't think it would give for interesting content, but kind of makes sense. They are mm. giving up the pushing power with that, though. I mean, it's good synergy with Caitlyn Trap, I guess, the silence. I mean, it makes sense if Jarvan ulties on the silence, like and like Ezreal just can't e out. So I guess it makes sense. I mean, I would have preferred but... to see something like a Nautilus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Nautilus might not be that great an example, but you get what I mean. More aggressive oriented since their comp is so oriented on diving and just playing really aggressive. Just yeah, jumping in. I feel like now Aquila's comp is more of like letting Caitlyn Vex Soraka poke and like using the Soraka sustain to frontline for the Caitlyn Vex and then like if maybe trying to win the war of attrition and then because like is... if you look at the enemy team with with Ezreal Sinner they're also like a bit more pokey Sinner is a bit more short ranged as well with like Wukong Jax are is like going in a bit and like a lot of CC. Or like letting him come into you is very good as well. So I feel like they're just gonna that like they're gonna dance this fine line between going in and not going in. I feel like it's what they did the last game as well. They're like trying to go in but also not going in, and they're like dancing this fine line. Yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens. True, always is. See when we get into game. It's only game. Yes, that uh, chat's also over, uh, also really silent today. Yeah, yeah. No Benerweer copy pastas. Um, no flea copy pastas either. I think that was one Benerweer copy pasta in the beginning, first stream. We so, haven't seen that return. <laughs> It's a bit quiet today, but that's fine. I mean, it is Wednesday, I mean, so it makes sense. People have to yeah. work tomorrow and stuff. It's not in the weekends. But we do it anyway. <sighs> so, yeah. What do you think of the draft? Who who has the advantage? Who has the edge? I don't really know if anyone really has the edge in this case. I mean, both teams have their plans, their ideas thought out. And I think they might they're both going to be able to execute it. It's going to come down to who plays better around things like objectives um, and just in general. I don't know. I think it's going to be more about team play than about a comp trying to do one thing. I mean, both comps are really versatile in what they can do. They can play really aggressive. They can play more laid back, more passive, kite backwards. I mean, I don't really know if anyone really has the upper hand here. Um, I mean, the early push on top lane is going to be Volibear. Uh, don't think anyone has to question that. Um, and yeah, mid lane, Vex is going to be suffering to go into as a Syndra, I think. Um, I feel like it's all skill matchups, like Volibear into Jax. Yeah, I mean, you have to beat out Volibear. Uh, like you have to bait out Jax E and then you win the trade, but if you don't bait it out, then Jax wins the trade. Like in mid lane, dodge the Syndra balls, but like if Syndra dodges your Qs, like it's a bit. If you can dodge, but I can, then I win. That's kind of it. Like if I can bait out spells, and you can't bait out spells, I win. And then yeah. bot lane, oh, Kate Soraka into Ezreal, Tarik. I feel like Soraka, Caitlyn. <sighs> Should get pushed early. We all sleepy today. Yeah, maybe it so. just feels so different. There's no uh, 
there's not nearly as much um, hype behind the thing because like you'd think that the top dogs going against each other would be like really on edge really focused on getting that first spot but that doesn't really seem to be the case it's more like oh yeah we all we already pretty much got our spot so we're just going to vibe along and yeah i mean yeah fair i don't know it's these are fun drafts in my opinion since you see things that you normally wouldn't really expect to see not per se things that you wouldn't see because they're bad but just because they're different from the usual you know like I mean, going that Soraka in that comp seemed a little odd, but it works. It works perfectly fine, but we're not used to seeing play play Soraka. True. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be a fun match. Um, not a lot more to say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's... I don't know, we will see what happens. It's uh... now, now the question is if they're going to play as aggressive as beforehand or if they're going to be a bit more passive about it, a bit more careful. Wait and see what will happen. Looking to get the standings up. Where are they? So many Division 5 thingies. Hi, <laughs> Mama. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. It's just... Sleepy today. There's also only a couple viewers, so... Yeah. Yeah, less than normal, but that's fine. I feel like... Uh, Wednesday is a bit of a, like... Yeah, maybe a bit of an off day. Not, not all people used to us being live on Wednesday. Could be. Right, so we are but, uh, about to go it's into still fun to It's still fun to have a VOD to watch back. Especially, I think, if you're one of these players. And you just want to see the games that happened. Yeah, true. It's always fun to be able to go back. Of course. that's So, yeah. Very cool. Now we're actually going to see what we were... Uh, Thinking about what we were uh, speculating about. Yeah, I wanna see what happens. Let's see what this game will give. Insta pause. Amazing. Benerweer having the lag. Benerweer, come on, man. But what I'm noticing is that the draft was Age blue side and they are red side. Yeah. Oh, oh Aquila is blue side. So. Oh no, my bad. My bad. I am just blind. What? What is this? What is happening? Yeah, the game's freezing because of the falls, but look at the Jarvan with the Wukong there. They just know they're yeah. taunting each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing to say here. It's just, oh, just waiting, waiting for the game to start. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking we don't all know the, the We so. don't know the players on um, on Berliner's side as well, so we can't really talk about them. I mean, like, that's the unfortunate part of this kind of league, where if you're in higher leagues, you have somewhat static 
uh, teams that remain there, and it's easier to commentate on people just having habits and stuff. So yeah. Then we're really respecting the jacks early. Makes sense. A little trading happening. Yeah. here poking really aggressively yeah that's how it works Jax E is still up you don't win yeah nice healing though Caitlyn getting the push very good that's what you want in Caitlyn lane so you want you want to milk that tower you want to get the plates get those plates they know the lower spot on top so Caitlyn will be so solo in that lane, which makes it... Jarvan might be looking for a little bit of a, a fight on the red buff here. Yeah, Vex pushed in Syndra, so Vex can move as well. Yeah, they do have vision kill. on that though. So. Nice fear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice knock up on the clone as well. Nice. Yeah. But they can't continue the fight. Yeah, Jax E hurts a lot, but I feel like extended fights. Another W and he wins the trade. Oh, he doesn't get the other W. That's the thing you have to watch out for. W's on the volley bear with his sustain. Also, is it is it double Doran shield? Side? Oh, it's ring. Oh, the E under tower. Yeah, that's really. That's a bit of a misplay. Well played by. Um, well played played by though. They slow, but they can't continue because no EQ. They got Wukong flash, but Vex also had to flash. Top lane, Volibear used the ghost. Yeah, that was unfortunate being caught out by the Jax E. As I said, it's a bit of a. Uh, that's a bit of the core of the matchup. It's. You win if Jax E gets baited, if you can't bait Jax E. Oh! But looking for mid lane, nice flash forced. Yeah, the E is still up, so there. the Jax E, but extended trades he does win with the W, but Sheen, yeah. Yeah, the thing is just, broken. yeah, and you can't away. really, you can't really, as a Volibear, choose to do extended trades into a Jax. True. It feels... That's the unfortunate part here for Benderwit. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, Benderwit, yeah, it feels really difficult. Oh, but nice Whoa. counter stun on their tower, though. But he doesn't get the... That's oh, very yeah, sad. That's very that seems a little like a kill for a moment there. Yeah, Jax may be looking for a dive opportunity, but Benary are not giving it to him with the E. Yeah, and bot lane is just a poke lane here, I mean... Yeah, bot lane there's is not a lot to, to commentate on, there's... There's just... Yeah, oh, oh yeah, they're going in and actually getting that hit there. Uh, Exhaust. Well played there by the other rail. Yeah. Oh, flash for flash. flash. Nice reaction from Poo Poo Face. Yeah. I mean, he probably knew it was coming. Very good insta reaction. Charvan here being bot side, maybe to help the Caitlyn if they push in. going to need the help if they push this in, so yeah. But yeah, they true. might just back here. They might just base. No, they are not basing at the moment. Or at least Tarek is not. Um, yeah, he is now. Top lane still has farm advantage, so I feel like the lane's not over for Benerweer. Still has a lot of farm. Yeah, and definitely Wukong not is top over, though, but... So if Wukong gets another gank off, I feel like then it's over. Yeah, but look at this wave. He has to push it out. But it feels very yeah. difficult for him to push it out. Nice dodge from uh, Nick. Gets a very good trade with the fear. Alright. Then we are dodges the Wukong gank. Very good. Gets the push out as well. And now Syndra is just going to yeah. base. 
and now just Drake from uh, Quilla makes sense here. I mean, mid lane's push, bot lane was gone. They knew that, so yeah, pretty safe Drake there. True. Wukong being top here might be a little scary for that volley, but yeah, Jax uh, going nice. in a little the... early. That's very good trade. Yeah. Wukong going for the invade? No, opting for a scuttle. Oh, this Jax might just be... He does so much damage. The healing was very big. Yeah. Might have to ulti the volley bear. No, not ulting. W? Oh, W is a minion. Very sad. Yeah, that is trying quite unfortunate. To, trying to thin out the wave so that uh, no dive can be... No dive will be Clean. done. Yeah. Clearing vision here, I mean... Yeah. This is just... Your standard league gameplay, but in a little bit of a more sweaty format. This game is definitely very different, very, very much less laid back than previous game. I True. mean, yeah, they're not per se fighting too much and stuff, but at the same time, like, I don't know, it feels way more sweaty, way more. Oh, previous games. Yeah, just look at that fully bad healing here. Popped, yeah, going he, for the ghost. he gets his W still. Maybe gets this. So yeah, but that healing. Team, the amount of damage Kiwi? this fully bear does. Oh, and nice. W, and he gets the kill really well played there. Right now he's back in the game. That's very yeah. good. And he can get the push here on under uh, top tower. Maybe get a plate and then base. Yeah. Yeah, getting one plate and then basing. Makes sense. Don't want to lose that like too much tempo. Yeah, I I, I got them on the, on the prime, like prime division ranking, and they're top of the leaderboard with ten wins, won all their matches. And Berliner Esports is eight and zero. They ha still have to play one match. Uh, like, no, do they have to play one match? No, they still have to play one more match against another team that did not play against them. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, like, it does look like it. I mean, they're playing really well here, but I don't know, Aquila, Aquila's playing really well as well. It's just fun match, fun matchup, fun teeth. True. Well, kind of wholesome players and stuff. Ooh, but that Jax either. And the wave doing so much damage there, I mean, like, that's something you really can't underestimate the amount of damage that a wave does. Yeah, fighting in a full wave is very scary. But, oh, yeah. nice bait on the E. Oh, perfectly set out of that the E. That was such a clean, yeah, that was such a clean Now he wins one there. W, yep, yeah, and he wins the trade. Yeah, and that's a really good trade for Ben Hexic Drake spawning, Caitlyn pinging it. Yeah, I mean, this Jax is far behind in CS, which is very unfortunate for him. Yeah, Benerweer just keeping the wave, making sure that he can't CS, I mean... Yeah, making sure that it continues pushing into him. Yeah, I mean, now less so. Wukong being top here is kind of scary as well. Together with Tarek, yeah? Yeah, that's... Oh, but... Yeah, and there it goes oh, Benerweer, yeah. His E came down to late well played for the shield. Wukong ult used for it and stuff, but well played. Wukong ult used, also Jax ult used, and bot lane gave up a lot of prior. Yeah, good to get Dove here. Charmin here being bot lane though. Not really going to get anything out of it though. I mean, like, they don't have the wave into tower yet. Now they do, but they, like, as well has to give the it's, wave. They're just it's a little late, yeah. I mean, it's, it's still fine, I feel like it, they're yeah, just zoning him out of the and, uh, I mean. It's, it's fine and stuff, but I mean like... It's just unfortunate that the wave wasn't there earlier. Because then they would've... Got True. more, I think. They got the full tower, I feel like it's worth. Yeah, it's definitely worth. I mean... A herald for... I think that's first turret? Yeah, that's first turret. That does help a lot on a Caitlyn. Yeah, it's exactly what Caitlyn wants as well. Yeah, I mean... Ooh, that was a really nicely timed Jax E. Yeah. Ooh. The W. 
Yeah, I mean, just the fact that he heals more than the tower damages him in one shot is... Oh, uh, sh that... Yeah, the... <laughs> his chain lightning giving him a tower aggro. They're making him tank to dodge. Yeah, so Polybear passing, bad. inting him. Polybear passing, Oh, now the Vex. Bro. No fear as well. Oh, she got fear up just in time. And top lane, five Polybear is, W, uh, yeah, the 500 yeah, healing, man. Like, team. what is that? Yeah, but the tower was not shut down, so... Yeah, I mean, can't dive here. Oh! Although, oh, he! Although, the Q movement speed so nice hitting him out of the E, that's really nice very cool. Just dodging oh, the yeah, counter strike with his Q movement speed, and now they're going in. Tarikul being used on the Wukong. Right there, it has to flash out. Soraka has been popped. Fix Ulta goes back into fear. They do get Drake. I mean, that was well played by uh, Berliner again. I mean, the thing is, both teams are making good plays the entire time, so... Yeah. 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 It's going up somewhat even, even though Berliner are ahead in kills. Yeah, it's because of top lane farm. Yeah, top lane farm and... Yeah, I mean, then again, mid lane does have a... Somewhat of a farm difference as well, and... Jungle as well. So, I mean, they are ahead, but... I don't think it's by much. I mean, like, yeah, oh, it's 200k. Uh, uh, 200, 200, 200, yeah, 200k, damn! Yum. That would be uh, one hell of a gold diff. Yeah, then you're just getting kept. Like, 23 farm uh, Silas right now, but that would be the gold difference then. Like, you, you just, Silas just ending you going 0 and 46 with 23 farm. That could explain the 200k gold difference. Yeah. Even then. Just trading on their tower. Oof, continue to trading on their tower, damn. Did the shield. Yeah, bro, I mean, I... Yeah. what is this champion? Wukong, yeah, uh, Tarek we'll, is top though, so has to watch out. Gets the shield off though, yeah. but the CC comes down. Yeah, In I mean, just that healing. W alone. Also Jarman being here, but Wukong so also much. coming. Nice turn, I might have to get out, Wukong spinning. Nice Soraka ulti, ulting. Wukong, oh. Nice, has to ult this now. Really oh. oh, but that was a lot of damage there on Benerverin. Rytherian goes down as well. Ulting on the Ezreal with Soraka here as well. Snipe from Caitlyn. None of the... Yeah, very well I mean, played in top lane there. Berliner played this really cleanly actually. Yeah. Yeah, I have to wait for objectives now. Herald is up now, so maybe playing around Herald, swapping. Yeah. If they put Caitlyn mid, makes sense because. Yeah, bot lane tower is done. So they want to put Caitlyn mid. I shot from Vex. Oof, that damage still. Jax still not being able to win, although, like, Jax has Divine, but I don't think he wins. He did win this trade, though. Yeah. Usraka jumps Ooh, that's, yeah, caught into out. vision, yeah. Flay caught out there. That's into no vision by Flay. <laughs> yes. Unfortunate that people were waiting there. He, he thought because of uh, right there and being on the Rift Herald that could freely move there, but they were waiting. They had found a gap in the vision. And they abused it nicely. But they have to give up Herald, I feel like. like well, I don't think like, it, they can contest. We're gonna try no, though. Definitely. VFX has ulti though. And with Benerweer trading on top lane, we could look for something. Benerweer just making sure this Jax has to really be wary of what he does. Tarek also Ooh, top but Tarek being top here is Stun hits, but quite like scary. the healing. Yeah, just look at this damage. I don't think they can burst someone down before Tarek ult goes in. No, they, definitely not. They, they did get Tarek ult and Syndra TP Short and Jax ult and Ezreal ult. So they got a lot of it, but all the Herald here as well. They do get, they should get tower. The extended fight could be theirs with Soraka being caught out and dived on. Also being ulted by the Syndra, yeah. They're all saving Yeah, them. and Benner we're just trying to get out with his life. 
Meanwhile, Caitlyn mid. Yeah, they get tier 2 air as well. Yeah. This can be a long one. This, I think this one can go on for a bit of a time. As, uh, Drake is up though. Everybody's resting now. Looking for Drake. That could be another fight. Yeah, I think that's what everyone's going for. I mean, looking at where everyone is on the map, everyone's going towards Drake here. Jax has anti Slowly but surely. That's annoying. <laughs> for the volley. Yeah, that does hurt uh, Volley Bear a lot. Flea here going for vision and vision denial makes sense. He's the support. Yeah, do they give up Drake? No. Everybody's fighting around Drake. Fix is shoving in though, so Syndra has to answer. Oh, nice catch Ooh, out on really the nice engage there. Derek. Could be big if they can get the get him, but what is that oh, damage from Wukong and yeah, right yeah, there he dies and now Venerbeer gets nice healing and the shield, so they get the, the Derek. Kill, but... Has DP though, so might That's be able to get out, but yeah, Jax solo killed the, the yeah, Caitlyn in the back, so. Yeah, this is not looking good for Aquila. Uh, a really nice big made there by the Jax actually getting the Q on the time. Nice ulti from the Soraka. Yeah, and they get free Drake here. Yeah. How much stacks does this Syndra have? She has 80 stacks now. Yeah, Jax getting on the Syndra, uh, on the Caitlyn and just removing her from the equation is really helpful. Yeah. It was a good, like, engage onto the Tarek at first, but they couldn't get, like, they couldn't burst them down, and that cost them the fight because in extended fights Maybe. without Soraka being able to heal you constantly, it's you're going into a yeah. Tarek that just heals Perma, so it's a bit annoying. They just didn't have the damage required to burst them down. Yeah, that's, it's yeah, it's also very unfortunate, but that's just how it is. A volley bear, like, look at volleyball Jarvan items; they don't have like that much damage items compared to like Kate yeah. Olympic, so the damage will be less, and. He's going tanky, the Tarik, so it makes sense that he didn't get bursted down by it. Yeah. So I mean, it was a good, like, it, it was good for them to try and get a pick, but like follow up was not there because they engaged too far. It's what happens in my games a lot, <laughs> where you go in like you, you're playing volley bear and you can like run in real far and your team just can't follow you. Same with Jarvan, yeah, you I mean, and there's yeah, it's just you know, the difference in speed between camps sometimes really hurts. True. Yeah, this game, it feels so weird. Yeah. I, I mean, the entire day is off. It just, it just feels a little odd. Yeah, well, Wednesday, it's crazy, man. I'm not, I'm not used Wednesday, to this. It is Wednesday, my dude. Used to Wednesday. I don't know, man. It's um. Bro, I I miss Flay's community, man. I'm I'm just gonna say it. Like we have four viewers. Probably yeah, it's like, like you, you, me, and then uh, right there, and then <laughs> the channel itself. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, potentially. The viewer interaction is also crazy today. It was, it was just Nick saying, "Oh, it's Flay Show again." <laughs> That's it. Oh, Bolivar. Oh, Vex is getting popped. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing she can do, but oh, nice. Tra really oh, nicely there by right nice engage by right, right there and keeping the Vex alive. Vex is really low. Like, can we go back to top lane? Up, oh, Wukong spinning, spinning. Well, some bot lane. going in. Better going in on the Jax. Yeah, that anti heal really is hurting him. Oh, Flay trying to keep right there in life. Might give his own life for it. No, I think they both get out with blasting plus code. Please Let's flick it out. Out. Yeah, he gets out. No, Wukong follows. No, gets the pop. Nice fear from oh, the Vex, but the burn tick. The burn tick. Oh, he lives. Might be looking for an execute. No, gives the kill over to Tarek. Yup. Giving him the laughing face emoji. Now they're pinging Baron. It's 30 seconds on Vex. Vex has to though. Soraka will be back now. But everybody has to come from bot side from uh, Kola Gaming. So. Yeah. And the damage also pinged. I mean, this, this Baron is pretty much free because they just. I, I don't think they will get there in time to even do anything. Since they can't dive in, they're not, yeah, this is a free Baron. This is not looking good for Aquila here, I mean... It's just the same as last game, but in reverse, where Aquila is slowly bleeding. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, and really nice plays from Berliner. Berliner um, is just, just not making a lot of mistakes, like it's also difficult to force mistakes. I don't know, their comp... 
I know, I know. It's just that, yeah. Like, as I don't know, Jax is just being this far ahead and it's difficult for uh, Kate Soraka. Like, if that would have been another engaged support, I feel like it's easier to play against Jax. But right now, like, what is what is Soraka gonna do if Jax jumps on the Caitlyn when um, Jarvan and Volibear have gone in on, like, Tarek, for instance? That's what happened last fight. Oh, but look at the QE, yeah, and, and there goes Q Flex. Stack, and there goes Flex. What the hell? Flex just disappears. Yeah, the Syndra is also being piloted really well, which makes it even more difficult for this game to be played. Wukong in the bush waiting, is I is correct? A lot of trading on top lane. Dodges everything, jumps out as well. Caitlyn just gets dove by the Wukong and gets killed probably. Maybe they can train on the Jax. Nope, they can't. Caitlyn does get out, but Wukong can follow. Nice heal from Flay constantly. Jesus, the healing on Flay. Who faces still yeah. lives. Nice Damasia. And the Jarvanoth, really nice Jarvanoth there, yeah. Yep. And then Vexalt going in. Just waiting here. They're just flanking, yep. And they get two kills. Yeah. With Drake spawning in 20 seconds as well, very good. Wukong being down for so long. But they're gonna lose all tier 2. By that Syndra, yeah. So that's a bit scuffed. They lose all tier 2 towers. But they, they can get Drake for free probably. Like 20 seconds still on uh, on Wukong and Tarek. Like they don't. For free, for free is a little exaggerated, I think. I mean, like they're still gonna have to fight for it. In fact, the, the fight is like it's a fightable Drake right now. Yep. Yeah. But not if that happens. Look at this. Yeah. The Caitlyn just gets popped with. Oh, big ult! Big E, if Syndra dies, it's very winnable. The will off, yeah, nice healing. But yeah, like... But just not enough that... Oh, killing with the flag. The Ezreal yeah. also just hitting for so long. This Ezreal is pumping out and damage and checks. Just healing. Oh, if he can get the... Amount. Oh, no, he can't. Fix it also yeah. on the flank, trying to look for Ezreal. Maybe flash Q. Something, E, no. There's not a lot this Vex can do here, I mean... Yeah, I mean, they have Baron Recall as well, so there's no way to... But Jack's no mana, though. That's really Yeah, nice. that, that is true, but I mean, like, Wukong is there, Tarek is there, yeah. And Flay now has to run, but I don't think he has anywhere to go. Yeah, no, oh, there's dies. no escape. It's Jover for Flay. He's just running. He is trying to stay alive. Keeping them here, <laughs> he's just ha 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 ha, staying alive, dodging, yep, and getting yeah, clapped by the lantern, doing the impossible, dodging auto attacks. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're also trying to extend, like, to delay his death, so that the death timer cuts them longer, so they get map pressure. They were doing great. But yeah, this this Jax looks scary. Divine. Spear now going for Zonias, like it's, really, it's will be very difficult to do something against this Jax. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it just seems one sided. Just a 10 kill Jax alone is horrifying to go up against, even though he only has uh, 140 CS. I mean. Just that amount of kills definitely does compensate for it. Yeah. The pressure that he's given to other lanes as well because like... This Jax is big. It's a monster. Yeah. Sad. I mean... Yeah, Jax yeah, there's is just OP. nothing to say today. Oh, the games are I, really... I don't think Jax is OP, it's just... Jax is a strong champ and all, but I mean... The thing is, if every top laner is overpowered, then no one's overpowered. That's the thing, like, Polybear is also insanely strong early. True. And he doesn't even scale that bad. Um, Ooh. Riven, same thing. Closest, fight really close. Oh, yeah, it's on the... On yeah, the... And, Jax yeah, and Red 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 just getting popped, even though he has placed his ulti down. Maybe they can get the Wukong? No, Tarek ulti is probably gonna come down yeah. and everybody gets hit, so everybody sees life. Now they can yeah, tower dive and the striker just gets popped. Now, Wukong looking to dash in and kill the Caitlyn as well. Yep, gets the Caitlyn, but will yeah. trade his life for it. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah, that's worth though, because they get in him. 
Yep, they DP on the wave now. And they get uh, probably end as well. Yeah. The timer's being so long. G yeah, I mean. Uh, G Yeah, so 1-1, one, one, the two top teams. Yeah, so um, going up equally, I don't think there's a favorite per se. Are they trying to clutch it? Can he stop them? I mean, they have no wave, the wave is dead. If they can't get tower, they might all die. No. Nope. Yeah, no, the amount of damage is too much. Now Volibear is yeah, too late, it's GG. Yeah, GG's. I mean, this game was really cleanly executed by Berliner. Just yep. not leaving any gaps, taking it slow, making sure that they get the methodical win instead of just doing what happened the early the the first game and just keeping on fighting. So they do take one game loss. The yeah. Aquila boys, they don't win every match 2-0. They lose one match, like one map, one one game, however you want to call it. They play. Yeah, they, they 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 played well. They qualified for the Division Four Five playoffs. So we will be back to cast the playoffs now. I don't. Know, there's not a lot to talk about about like this. This game was just I don't know. Like they fell behind. Berliner got the lead, and I feel like Berliner just yeah played it really like yeah, I don't know. They just played slow. They just got whatever they needed like didn't make that big of mistake like they didn't make that many mistakes just continued to enlarge on their lead and then just finish out the game so yeah that's all that happened and then in the first <laughs> game the same as well like they Aquila just got a lead and they ran away with the game then they just played cleanly with their lead so I feel like it's yeah they just both teams did the same thing but yeah I mean well, well played, I guess, by both teams. It was a a, a s slow death in both cases. Yeah, it just like it reminds me of the LCK style, just playing slow, calm, collected, and just beating out your opponent until you can 99% for sure win the game. It's like that's what happened today, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it was a bit, yeah, uh, there was a bit less hype, maybe because. Maybe because the chat's also a bit uh, bitch. Not a lot I mean, like there's there's no there's no real interaction with chat, and also, yeah, I mean, everyone's tired. I it's Wednesday as well. Do dare say, including us both. Yeah. Um, the match was not per se as important as the previous matches since they already qualified for playoffs. Yeah. They yeah. Were exactly. In the playoffs. So yeah. So there was not not really anything on the line. But they played, like they they played well. They played well. They they played well the whole season. Like the, all, like yeah. they won all their matches. But the thing that does matter is Sunday, Sunday, um, the other team from Aquila plays, and that match on Sunday does have a lot of implications. Although like they're they're playing against the um, uh, the uh, third team, and they have to look for uh like the team that's fourth not right now, the team that's fifth right now. They play against one and two. So, like those results all matter. So if they win 2-0, they like they're still dependent on the t on the results that the other teams have. So be sure to check it out uh, on Sunday. We will be here to cast it again. That's a game with a lot more, like a lot, like it's a hype. very important game. Um, yeah, a bit a bit of hype as well. Like their playoff dreams are connected to that game, and also like the other results. So maybe on Sunday the rest of the games will have been played. And we will be able to see if it still has the importance that we uh, attach to it now. But, you know, you'll have to wait and see till Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. Today was a bit more of a laid back stream. Like, there was not a lot of energy. But I feel like that's that's fine. This game was also, like, a bit more for fun. They already qualified. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Wouter, you any last words before I... Uh, uh, not really. I mean... The few things that could have been said were already said, and I I hope everyone, um, everyone looks Enjoy forward into to Sunday. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm hoping to see that a lot of people arrive on Sunday because I'm an important match and stuff. Yep, we hope this. So you're here, here. We hope to see you Sunday. Have a good night, 
and uh, have a good rest of the week and hopefully we will be brimming with energy on Sunday and you as well bring the hype to chat and um, yeah have a big big live stream for what could be the last game uh, of this uh, season for the other Aquila team see you then on Sunday ciao